Georgia team that hit the ball all over the yard in their 13 to 2 win against Mercer last night. Maxwell had a grand slam in that one. Lifts his pitch to deep left field. It's way gone. Lead off home run, Maxwell. How do you do, Tucker Maxwell? His 12th home run of the season. Second in as many days. That'll get you crowd into it. Georgia, the visitor tonight, packed house, sold out for the entire weekend, and that's not your typical leadoff hitter. Home run number 12 on the year for Tucker Maxwell. Started yesterday off with a leadoff double. Tonight goes deep, and the dogs strike early. In 2018. Former Lovett standout hits it on the ground. Salvatore de Sados throw high, and it gets all the way into the dugout. And Chuck will get an extra base, and it gets a run home. And Becker has been. Senior walk-on. Participated in an open tryout in October coming over from the Florida State club team which Mike Martin explained to us Plays about the level of a good high school team in the state of Florida So Becker homered twice yesterday and he skies this one deep to right field King to the fence and he did it again Tim Becker with three career home runs and they've come in the last two games Come on man Oh Senior walk on his dad is in the stands one of his former club teammates is in the stands This is movie stuff yeah it's his fifth start of the year and three of those starts have come in the last three games for Florida State Tim Becker did not have a home run in his collegiate career until he started the game yesterday now Those hits follow the Tim Becker home run to open the inning and this one's lifted towards right center field. Maxwell racing back again. Made the catch. And they got a chance for a double play. Racing back to first is Reese Albert. The throw off the line. Hancock gathers and guns. Wow, momentum back to the dogs on an outfield assist from Tucker Maxwell. Mike Martin is out talking with the third base umpire. Tyler Holt, the first base coach, had a word with the umpire on the first baseline. And the officials are going to get together. There is replay review available for Levin if he wants it. Years ago in the Georgia-Florida football game, Mark Rick's entire team came out to celebrate Georgia's first touchdown. And the entire team for Scott Strickland just came out to celebrate that double play. We'll recap it for you with Mike Martin still talking with the umps. What a recovery by Maxwell and the pitcher, Emerson Hancock, to help his own cause. He finished to that inning, and in this double play, Mike Salvatore is able to score from third. Tony Losey leading the charge for the Georgia team, coming all the way out to the first baseline. A first base umpire, Mark Wagers, had to walk the Bulldogs back. But before the third out was recorded, Travis Reininger pointed to the plate and said the run scores. So we are tied at two. A college football environment tonight, Thomas. Uh huh. I love this early. And Flowers lifts this one to right center. Maxwell on his horse again. Tucker Maxwell won't get to it. Gets it off of a hop. And Flowers standing at second with one out double.
Flowers got a first pitch breaking ball, so it's an 0-1 count. Fastball down in the zone. It's a similar pitch that J.C. Flowers hit out of the ballpark last night. Fastball down, really goes into that swing path. The payoff. Breaking ball, foul territory. I'd say fair, pardon me. And it turns Sullivan all the way around. Then he slips and couldn't make the catch from his backside. A run's going to come home. J.C. Flowers scampers home with the go-ahead run for Florida State. After Sullivan, the shorthanded first baseman, lost his feet. Yeah, and this is one where his second baseman's got to help him. I know the tally, they're, they're both playing in right here, so it's a different route to this ball than both are used to. But watch L.J. Talley just peel off right now. And that's one where he, he has to keep going because it's a, it's a much in his collegiate career. He said yesterday he tracked the ball towards the scoreboard, saw the pitcher's reaction, knew it was special. This is special. He'll get home to Sados. They're going to send Smith. The throw to the plate is wide, and Tim Becker delivers again. Come on, man. I mean, this is two home runs yesterday. The home run today is one thing. You're facing a guy in Emerson Hancock that's mid-90s. Gets a first pitch changeup. Tim Becker swings through it. Watch how he stays on this one. That's another changeup. And you can see the glove from Meadows was turned over, thinking that ball was going to be down in the dirt. Becker keeps the barrel in the zone long enough to barrel it up out to center field. And the Knowles now back to back to back to back hits. Hold to the left side. It'll get through. Mendoza's score. Robbie Martin coming home. The throw's cut off by Shunk. And Florida State gets a two-run single from Mander De Sedas. He is three for three tonight. Let's catch up with what's going on in Baton. This one's launched towards the scoreboard and right. King's going to run out of room. It's a three-run bomb, and it's all FSU tonight. That'll win any talent show. There's a talent right there. Just the second home run of the year for Carter Smith, and it's against a tough left-hander in Ryan Webb. Scott Strickland starts to make the way out. That is a five-run fifth for the Seminoles. That home run right there, the fourth hit of this inning alone. It's 13 in the game for Florida State. Ray Tanner and the selection committee put Florida State in, one of the last four at-larges to get in. And here in Athens, the number three seed is looking like the powerful program they've been for 40 years under 11. It's a 10-2 advantage for the Seminoles on the road in Athens. This one's launched deep left into the Georgia night. A two-strike swing that puts it in the parking lot for Mike Salvatore, his third hit. This is not easy to do because from this arm angle, Mike Salvatore just seen a few fastballs coming in on his hands, and he gets a slider, and it hangs up a little bit. But it's real easy to open up thinking that fastball is going to come in on your hands. Instead, Salvatore waits, smokes this ball to left. Seventh home run of the year for Salvatore. Third hit tonight. 12-2 Seminoles. Who is an assistant coach at Georgia Tech. When Virginia had some great pro prospects, compared him to Ryan Zimmerman. Backhand, DeSantis gets a force at second. Maxwell will come home on the fielder's choice. What a play by Nander DeSantis, the opening day shortstop. Well, you talked about it earlier, and DeSantis was the number one rated high school shortstop in the state of Florida, and you can see why. Now, made the move to second base this year just because the errors were high, but it's not a lack of ability. Just needs more reps, smooth to go backhand side, flips it to Salvatore to get the lead runner right there. So the run's going to score for Georgia, but you'll train it out for a run right now if you're floor.
swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Krakowski finishes it out. Nelson with a handshake for the umpire. And Florida State cruises to a 12-3 victory thanks to 15 hits for the Seminoles.